take you through some of our new backcountry products. Um, all these products were created from the ground up, our own R&D, and uh, we approach this category from, from the standpoint that, number one, if you're going to carry something to make you safer, make sure it's going to work. So reliability is number one for us. And second, try and figure out as many different uses for that product as you can. So if you can uh, build a sled out of what you have in your pack, you can leave a sled at home. If you got an inclinometer on your pole, you can leave your inclinometer at home. So we're trying to lighten the pack while increasing the safety margin at the same time. So I'll show you a few of the products. First one is a uh, is a is a is an extendable pole we have. Um, it's toolless, so you can tighten it and loosen it by just a, a flick of this pin here. That pin comes up. You can twist that to tighten it or loosen it. The other thing that's cool about this pole is uh, the lower screw together to make a backup probe. We don't recommend this as your only probe, but it's a great backup probe. And this, uh, the screw thread on this also matches your camera, so it's a great monopod for a camera or video. Next thing we did with this is uh, built an inclinometer into the, uh, into the handle. Most important piece of avalanche data that you can have is how steep is this slope. I don't care if the hazard is extreme. If I'm on a 20 degree slope, it doesn't matter. So how steep is the slope you want to ski? What we did here is we built a bubble inclinometer right into the grip. So you just lay this on the snow and read the, read the, read the steepness right there. Um, it goes from 30 to 45 degrees, so your critical avalanche zone. And uh, if you get to 46 or 47, you can still exaggerate to your buddies and tell them it's 50, 52 degrees. So pretty unique pull. With the other, with the other pole, we put a, uh, we put a, uh, we put a ruler on it. So when you're probing that snow depth, you need to figure out how deep it is. Now I can read. Okay, it's 30 centimeters deep, or it's 40 centimeters deep, and I can keep track of that layer I'm concerned about. Last thing we did is just textured the grip. So when you're on a side hill and you're you're choking down on the pole. It's not slippery. You don't have to use too much energy to hang onto the pole. So that's a new backcountry pole.